Hey guys, I'm Lisa from The Score Esports and I'm here with CLG Stixa. Congratulations on the win against Dignitas. So coming into this match, you knew you had to win it to avoid the tiebreaker against C9. With that in mind, how did you feel coming into this game? Uh, so we were all watching like the C9 versus TL in the lobby and we are all just like super happy TL was just <laughs> stomping. So it was, not only does it like make a short day for us, which is all really good, um, we were pretty confident going into the Dig match as well. So it, it was pretty much just been a really good day for us. So this has been your first split in the LCS. Um, was it what you expected coming in? Honestly, no. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't sure if I would choke on stage or like what would happen when I actually played on stage. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, like throughout the split, you can see how I improved a lot. And just recently, I think I've been playing extremely well compared like compared to how I was at the beginning of the split. So yeah, it wasn't what I expected, but I th it's been going pretty well. I think I've been getting used to it fine. So. Have you met your own expectations for your play throughout the split? Um, maybe maybe a couple of games, but not every game. And obviously, like the key is like consistency. So it's pretty much what I'm working on. I, I know like my skill cap and like where I can how good I can play, but it's just a matter of being consistent and always playing that highly. So. Okay, and you and Aframu playing the bot lane together. How have you guys grown as a duo? Um, as a duo. I've learned a lot more about laning phase. Um, back when I was like a challenger player, I was kind of known for having like really strong lane. And then when I played with Zach uh, Afro, we actually became even better. So I think our 2v2 is actually one of our strong points. A lot of people say we lane swap to avoid 2v2, but honestly, that's just like a meme throughout the house because our 2v2 is like one of the strongest in LCS. So. You know, speaking of like the team's play style, there's you guys have this kind of reputation right now as a split pushing team, but today you guys played more, I guess, team fighting. So how would you describe the team's play style? <laughs> so so that, that's another meme, the old <laughs> split push thing. So for some reason people think Darshan only split pushes, but he actually like it's just the correct way to play from how how we perceive the game. Mm -hmm. We think it's the correct way to play and then we usually you know, we push up side lanes and we collapse. So like that, but people say, Oh yeah, no, they suck at team fighting, they can only split push but uh honestly it's just how we learn how to play the game and I think we're doing pretty well so So what do you think of the team's like flexibility with different play styles? Um well different play styles we really worked hard on one three one ing uh, this past couple of weeks, and we were kind of shaky uh, last week when we came back from IM. But this week, I think we stepped it up like a ton. Um, our practice was just so much better compared to what it had been previously, and we adapted pretty well. So it was really nice for us. So now going into playoffs, you guys, I think are their second second team in the second spot right now. Um, how confident do you feel, especially with the best of five format and the teams that you will be facing? Um, so I think the teams we'll be facing is probably C9 or TSM in the semifinals. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like a really fun rivalry and looking forward to it. And uh, also we're going to start scrimming like best of five so we can get used to the setup. And we also have like a lot of international experience uh, with best of series. So I think we'll be fine. So you actually had a, like this is your first split, but you had a lot of interesting experiences like playing on CG, which was the winner of last split. You went to Katowice playing against SKT. What do you think? Like that's that's pretty crazy. What do you think was the most um, valuable experience for you? Um, the most valuable experience was honestly just having the experience on stage. Especially, I remember when we lost our first game. I was actually like really upset, and I didn't like know how to deal with it. And then, um, but after that, I learned how to like deal with losses and then how to deal with wins as well because obviously you don't want to get too cocky like have an ego so honestly just being able to play on stage was like a really good experience for me i learned a lot so and you feel comfortable now yeah i'm like really comfortable on stage now so cool okay so to commemorate the spring split i wanted to ask you a few questions which champion do you feel was the most impactful this split most impactful champion i would say it's probably like I think Lulu is really, really good and just been really relevant throughout the whole season or the whole split. So, mm -hmm. Very high pick and ban mm -hmm. and very you can play in every lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, much. so how about what was the most impactful item or broken item this split? I think definitely Essence Reaver. I don't think it was broken, but I think it was really impactful to where like last split you wouldn't even see it because it, mm -hmm. it was just like just a troll item. No one mm -hmm. built it and then they kind of reworked it and made it a lot better. And now it's like a staple on a lot of AD carries. Okay, and who do you think will be most likely to win rookie of the split? Well, I want to be cocky and say me, but <laughs> being 100% real, I think it'll be Dardoch from TL. Okay. I think he's played really well. Uh, he's a really good player in Challenger as well. So it's nice to see that he's doing uh, super good in LCS. 
And your prediction for MVP of the split? MVP of the split, I would be really surprised if it wasn't ran over. I feel, I've, I've just never seen someone carry a team so hard. I think Rainover is just super good. So. All right. Thank you so much, 6A. And thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to check out the rest of our content on our channel.